welcome back to Tech Now. Our aim here is to make Flutter development very easy, very, very easy for our newbies and for the advanced developers to also grab some concept in the basic understanding of the coding. Good. So uh, this is our Flutter series. So we recommend you watch our old videos also to get uh, the basics for the file and the folder structure of Flutter. Good. But before we start this, you need your terminal, your Visual Studio and your simulator to get started. Good. So if you're on Windows, you can open your uh, command line and also get your Visual Studio on, uh, on your Windows as well. Then you can get uh, Android Studio or probably Android Studio to work on the files and also use the Android Studio emulator or you can get any other uh, simulators that you can run on Windows so that you can use with the Visual Studio. Good, let's get started. So uh, before we start, let me clear my terminal. Yeah, I think it's messy. Okay, good. So I have already CD into my Visual Studio code. I have a folder I have created where I create my, my sample projects. So let's use the Flutter command to create a, a project. Great. So create create let's say second second app the second app is the name of the project second app is the name of the project flutter create second app i press enter and then it creates the project for me so it's actually uh, creating all the files and the folders we need to work with good so Good, so it is now set to start with the project. I now open my Visual Studio. Yeah, I have I have expanded the view. Let me open the files here. So I created it in a one folder on my desktop that's named Visual Studio. Yeah, so Visual Studio second app. Good, and I open. All right, so we. We're going to get ready to start to write our first hello app in Flutter. Okay, so when you open this, you're going to see a whole chunk of code here. But uh, this we're taking it as a newbie and then keeping it very simple for you to really grab the basic concept before you can go to the advanced development or add more widgets to it. Good. So. We want to create this very simple, so I clear all the code here. Good, okay. Then I only leave the import, import package of flutter material dot that slash flutter material dot that. Yeah, good. So why do I leave this? Yeah, because this is very important to be able to use the material dot that created by Flutter. Yeah, that is the Google. That is the Google Material UI where it is being inculcated in Flutter for us to use. Good. So I leave the import package. Good. And then why am I leaving the void main? Because the void main is the main function whereby when the program is about to execute, it's going to find this main and then run the other code you've written inside this main or code inside this main. Good. So we're going to create a very simple app and we want to keep it very simple and then short. So void main will return the main app to the screen display or it is going to draw on the canvas when we run the app. Good. So we, I left the run app, the run app here, the run app here is a function or a class inside the Flutter where we're going to call it in order to help run the code. But here, we can basically use the material app. Material app, yeah. It's a widget provided by Flutter where we can simply use so that we get the uh, widget from the material UI. So we use the material app since I said we're going to write the code 
just one line of code yeah to make it very simple very very simple in order uh, in order for it to be easy and then see it as the easiest code you have ever written in uh, flutter so let's use the fat arrow the fat arrow function instead of the curly braces so to run our first hello app we have this simple line of code run app which is being provided by flutter and then a material app function or a widget that is being provided by uh, flutter so the most important thing here to write on the screen is to call the home the home good and the home can take a lot a lot of widgets here but what we want to do is simply write a simple test a simple test on the on the canvas or on the screen so i'm gonna simply type in a, a test and the test to use the test we need to actually use the test widget test widget good so to use the test widget if you if you call the home and then you add the test widget the test should start with capital T yeah, capital T and then you have your string inside the open and close braces so let's type hello hello world yeah hello world inside the, the braces yeah I like using the single quote but you can use the double quote yeah, by single quote to make it a bit easier good so this we have the test widget inside the home good so test widget here and then uh, we have uh, this one here as well okay so let's see what do we have here main function run up we have the material that is the material widget in here and then we call the home and then the home after you call the home then you add the test widget to it good so let's see <clears throat> let's try running this on the simulator to see what we're gonna get okay mm, so we have a test we have the home we have the home and then um, okay so material of home okay we gotta add another one good so it's set because why did I add extra closing the braces? Because we have this run up that is taking this braces, and then we have the home is taking this, and then the test, the test is taking this brace and that brace. Good. So let's quickly save this and then run our first Flutter app to see what we're gonna display on the simulator. Okay, so. I have the simulator at the side so I quickly click on the run that is provided by Visual Studio at the top yes run so you run without debugging to run it a bit faster if you you want to do debugging you click the other one but we want to run it a bit faster so you can see it's launching the app right on the a simulator of uh, Xcode so let's wait for a while as it's running Xcode as we can see here yeah running Xcode build and then we can see from the debug console also so we will wait for a couple of seconds to a minute Our app is gonna launch so this is basically very very easy so we have the import package package column then we have the flutter slash material app in order to use this widget so we have to import this this is being provided by 
flutter and then we use the void main function where the app is gonna start this function will help the app step into the real codes so that it can run and then display this test we are using the material app the material app before because it's provided by the material design that is dot that and then we call the home keyword then we now call the test widget so we have material home and then test widget so we have about three trees here one tree second tree and then the third tree so everything in flutter is basically widget and building widget trees good so let's see okay so finally it's actually running good bam it's now on the screen so our hello world is actually hidden at the corner here oh yes it's hidden at the corner you can see why is it so because uh in the default default test without styling every test is aligned to the top to the top left of the screen so you can see left corner of the screen you can see the hello world here but since we want to keep this uh this tutorial very very easy for you to just know that you can write hello world on a simple line good but we can also add another widget in order to center or align this hello world in the middle so what should we do what we can easily do is uh, to add a wrapper or a widget. Good. So we'll call it in CSS. Uh, you're going to style the test. So here, what will you do? In uh, Flutter, you can use the center, the center widget to do this. So let me call this center center okay so center also need to have open and close bracket open and close bracket for center okay then in the center we need to keep the test yes we need to keep the test inside the child widget so the test is gonna be the child of the of the center styling so child you just type child just like how you call the home then you just push it forward good so we have the child being the test here of the center and the center being inside the home and the home inside the material app very very simple so we're gonna we're gonna save this by pressing on command s and then it saves what we are doing here. So we can use the hot reload to actually rerun this and then see how it's gonna display on the screen. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four. Okay, one, two, three, four. Yes, closing bracket of the child. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let me relaunch this and then let's see. Let's see if our test is going to align in the middle that is using the center widget. Okay, so it's going to take some couple of seconds to minute. Yeah, so this is very, very simple. Void main using the run up class that is provided by flutter and so we call the open and close bridges just like a function and then we call the material app widget inside we call the home keyword then we call the center then in the center it will align the tests then in the center we need to have the test being the child of the child being being an inside widget of the center and then 
the child will be the test that is hello world okay so let's see it's almost ready on the simulator good boom so we now have our hello world displayed right in the center of of the simulator good so this is basically what we wanted to do today and to help you out there understand the simple coding structure of flutter good try and watch our other videos and then we'll make sure we'll provide more content and also make it very simple for you to simply learn how to run and code flutter apps if if you like this video kindly give a thumbs up and also subscribe to our other videos subscribe and then turn on the notification to watch our other videos peace i'm out